Hello everyone, my name is Jen and welcome to the Book Refuge and welcome to a recommendations video and welcome to one of a couple videos I'm planning to do that are kind of just some random spicy recommendations, okay? Um, I read a lot of books that are spicy, steamy, smutty. What is the difference in these words? Today, I'm not looking to identify that. I'm just looking to recommend some to you that fit in to all of the above, okay? Sm smutty, spicy, steamy, smitey, whatever you want to call it these are that. Um, I am going to be traveling in probably the week that you're seeing this. That's the plan anyway, is to get these up the week that I'm gone. Um, and I wanted to make some videos that are just random recommendations. I used to do more of these back in the day, but as well as having a very extensive backlist of recommendation videos, I used to do these that were like five random book reviews where they were books that I didn't get the chance to talk enough in depth about. Um, but I wanted to, um, and I would do like book reviews for those. Excuse me, random makeup pump. And when I was planning some content for being gone, I was like, you know what? I'd like to do that, but I would just like to go back and make some like spicy book recommendations, right? You remember when those were going around and so many people were first being awakened to romance novels. Um, there are some great ones out there. And so what I did is I just went through my bookshelves this morning and I picked 10 books that I haven't spoken about recently. Some of them, it was last year, some of them it was years ago. Um, and I just wanted to put them all in one. But all of these are spicy. All of these are books that I gave four or more stars to. And all of them were really fun. So we're just going to go through these in kind of a rapid, you know, I'll tell you the tropes for each one. Um, and then I'll have them linked down below if you want to go snag them. Um, these are also all um, indie books, I believe. Yeah, we're all indie authors. So more to suppress. I lied, we have nine of them. So the first one that I have right here is Breaking Out by Samantha Wayland. This is very shiny. This one is an MMF. This one is like a friends to lovers, a bodyguard. It has a few different things in here. It's also like office romance. Um, but this one is great. This one has um, Maddie um, and she is kind of in love with her boss whose name is Reese um, and he's a really good friend. Um, and then something crazy happens. She's actually at his house running an errand for him when some men break into his house. She goes into his panic room and locks herself in. Um, and then um, Reese comes to rescue her from it and share about some sketchy things that happened in his past that kind of had people coming after him. And then they get assigned David Zapetti. He's a former PD officer and he gets put as personal protection for these two. And the three of them kind of all end up messing around together and end up in a relationship together. And I really loved that. Um, this book also has um, like the heroine is more dominant than one of the men. So there's some like switching that happens in this. And I just had a great time. This was my first Samantha Whalen I ever read. I still have not read more of her books yet, even though I own some of them. Someone was kind enough to send me some. And so I need to dive into those. But I really enjoyed this. So yeah, this was a very sweet MMF. And but it has all the good spiciness as well as some like awkward friends to lovers and some hot bodyguard action. It was wonderful. <clears throat> Then we have Kings of Kearney by Vanessa Allen. This is one I do bring up every now and then. I try to find a way to slip it in because it has so many tropes that I love and also a unique story at the same time. This one is an MC that is made up of like wounded warriors basically or veterans um, and they are the Kings of Kearney and the hero is called the Viking. His name is Jacob and he's like the chief enforcer. I think his dad like ran the club or whatever. Um, and then we have the heroine who I just forgot her name. Shame on me. Why doesn't it say I hate when it's in first person on the back? I can't remember her name. I'm sorry, but she is also a veteran, um, who was wounded. So that's cool. But she's a bartender and, um, Jacob is trying to recruit her to help because she actually has a grandmother who's in a old folks home that is being invaded by the drug trade <laughs> and there are a lot of like elderly there that are at risk because of this and Jacob and his MC really doesn't like this they don't think she, they that these this like rival MC should be messing with the old folks they're like that's fucked up like 
they've done their time, leave them be. Um, and so he tries to recruit her. So they end up doing, they do have like a real one night stand, but they also decide to like fake date so that she can get him access to this place. Um, so yeah, it was a really unique story and I absolutely love it so much. Then I'm bringing this one up because the author is actually adding to this series very soon. Um, Teach Me will be coming. So this one is called Him by L.L. Ash. Um, and this one is about Blake and Bay. And Blake is a single dad and his daughter is has been kept away from him most of his life. Like he had a bad breakup with her mom and she's just really kind of told her a lot of lies about him and things like that. But he's coming to stay with her. Um, and she brings her friend Bay with, um, and so Georgia is the little girl or the, not the little girl is the, is the daughter and Bay is the best friend. And when Georgia ends up joining a sorority, cause the plan was, was like, they were going to live with him so that they could have cheap rent, um, so that they could go to school and not have to like worry about that. And he, again, hasn't been able to be a part of his daughter's life much. And he's like, this is something I'm happy to offer. And so Bay and George are supposed to stay with him. Well, Georgia joins a sorority and moves out of the house. And so it leaves Bay and Blake leaving there alone. And so, yeah, it's a best friend's dad romance. And Teach Me is going to be the next one in the series. And I don't know if it's connected because I was going to check and see. I don't know if um Georgia is who it's about because of some of the plot that happens with Georgia in here but we'll see either way I'm going to read it because L.L. Ash hasn't put out a book in a while and I can't wait to read it then we have May the Best Man Win by J.R. Gray and Kate Hawthorne and I'm kind of bummed that I didn't think this through because I actually went to Wanderlust and both J.R. Gray and Kate Hawthorne were there they had tables right next to each other and I didn't even know, like, I didn't even think, and I even bought some books from Kate Hawthorne when I was there, but I didn't even think about this one. But this is an MM romance. Um, they both write MM romance. And so this one is Jasper, Marshall, and Lincoln, and they're enemies, and, like, I think they're, like, friends are getting married or something, or their friends are dating. Um, and they're, like, both really into each other. But, like, Jasper, um is like a jock and he's like this big tough guy and like Lincoln isn't but I think it's Jasper who likes getting bossed around so like Jasper's a bit submissive and so when he like finds it out they have this really hot one night stand where the one like bosses the other around but there's so much like hate involved it's like hate fucking um it was really hot I'll just say that I really loved this that's why I own a copy because I still haven't forgot some of the scenes from this still live in my head um but yeah it was these boys were naughty we'll just say that they're not the best behaved boys out there but this was so much fun so I highly recommend for a good like spicy mm romance then um I recently just read the last book in the series I think it was supposed to be the last one um, but I wanted to bring up the first one again because I just loved this brother so much. Um, and yeah, I did. So this is Wild North by J.B. Salisbury. And this is about, like, this one starts off so interesting. So this one is Jordan and, oh, shoot, what's his name? They all say Jordan. Tell me his fucking name. Alexander. And he is out in the wilderness because... We find out through it, like, he likes to go spend some time in the wilderness every few months to just get away because the world is, like, kind of a lot for him. Um, but our heroine, she is out on a hike with, like, she's on this trip with her best friend and her boyfriend, and she finds out they're cheating on her while they're there, which is just, like, so stupid of them. Like, seriously? And she ends up getting hurt when she's, like, running away from them. And so uh, Alexander rescues her and takes her to his cabin. But they're, like, stuck there for a while until his people come to get him. Well, they have some crazy, like, intense chemistry while we're there. And they kind of mess around while we're there. And then we go back to the real world and we find out that he is the son of an extremely wealthy man. And he works for this big company. And he's this billionaire millionaire that she had been like fucking in the woods basically and then we're back in real life and she's like wow I had no idea so yeah so he's the wild north anyway I thought it was really unique just because it very much like starts as a like 
you know, forced proximity, we're stuck together and then becomes a billionaire romance. So I thought that was interesting. Then, and this one I did talk about in 2022, um, because that's when I discovered this author, but I just want to bring it up again because I love this series and I don't love a lot of biker books, but look at me putting two biker books in one video. So this is Birdie's Biker by Misty Walker. Now I will say, this is my least favorite book in the five book series, but it's still pretty good and it starts it off really well. Um, and this is about Birdie um, and her father ends up getting involved in some things that he shouldn't do. And so we asked this biker crew, the Royal Bastards MC, to look out for his daughter and they're going to pay him to basically be a bodyguard. So this is, I think it's Loki. Is it Loki? I think it's Loki. Yeah, Loki is the president of this MC. And what I also think is interesting is that one of the things I really struggle with with biker romance is that I don't like the biker speak and I don't like that there are like club whores who are treated a certain way and um or are called like patch bunnies or like whatever I just don't like that but what I loved about this one is that those things exist in this book but Birdie really calls a lot of them out and by the end of this book when Birdie becomes a part you know because spoiler alerts HEA we're gonna have a lot of those things start to change in the club. So the way that things are in this one change as we go through the series because now Birdie is there and very much is changing this group because now she's a part of it and they're trying to be more respectful to her. So I also have my beautiful signed copy here. But I just really liked this couple. But um, she definitely is very defiant to being kept safe from them. She wants to help her dad. She wants to get back to him. Um, and they're like, no, we're supposed to protect you. There's people trying to kill you. You need to stop. And things get a little crazy. There's also some kinky stuff in here and some mental health things in here. Um, and there is um, an assault that happens to Birdie um, partway through this. It is not graphic, but it happens. So just know that. But I'm recommending this one as like, a start to the series because I really enjoyed especially books two and three in the series a lot <clears throat> my voice is getting tired we filmed a lot today then I want to mention a bullet between us by Kate Ossel because I just saw that she has announced the next book which I mean I knew what it was called because at the back of this one it did say that the next book would be called a war around us but it was on TBA like to be announced for ages like it's been so long um, and she finally put out a teaser for the next one so I'm so excited so this was a debut debut um, mafia romance for this author um, she has a couple other books under a different pen name um, and I absolutely just like loved this cover. I got to read an arc of this book and I just loved it so much. And it definitely showed up on booktube and bookstagram when it was coming out. Like she had a pretty good social media presence and then like there just hasn't been anything. But this one is about Davina who witnesses something she shouldn't and she ends up needing to be put into protection. But the thing is she gets put into protection under Ilias who is a police officer but he also has connections to the family and he's actually a police officer because they needed one of their men to be a police officer and one of the things she witnessed could get that company in trouble and so Ilias is set to watch her but it's kind of a double thing like he's keeping an eye on this girl who he may have to take out later but he also has this beautiful dog this beautiful big dog who's like her protection as well um, and of course he can't help but fall for her and that makes things very complicated so I really enjoyed this book and I'm very excited for a war among us around us to be coming because that one I think is supposed to be about like the head of the the Moretti crime family and that will be really good then we have Misbehaved by Charlie Rose. This one is a um, student teacher. So we have Remington Stringer um, and she's definitely grown up in a really tough atmosphere. Um, and then there is her teacher, Mr. James, who is just totally irresistible to her. And this is a forbidden romance between them. There's not a ton of other plot points to share in this, except there is a reason why he is a bit open to her flirtation. And it has to do with the fact that he wants revenge against her family. And so it isn't completely accidental that this teacher is falling for a student. We'll just say that. 
And then the last one I want to mention, which came up because um, some of my friends have been reading Brianna Hale lately, and Brianna Hale, also Lilith Vincent, um, can hit and miss with me, but the ones of hers that hit with me, hit with me so hard. And my very favorite Brianna Hale, my most favorite is favorite ever, is Ringmaster. And this was a bit inspired for her, obviously, by, like, The Greatest Showman um, when it was coming out, um, which is just so great. It makes me so happy. Um, but this book is... Oh, it's so interesting because it starts as a bit of a dark, ro like it has a start that could be a dark romance start, but it ends up, this is so sweet. So this is an age gap. It's found family. It is circus based. It's a traveling circus, um, which circus are always like a found family. I just love that so much. But our heroine is Raya and this starts with her and her horse having to go on the run um, because her father is very abusive and he's going to like hurt her and so she runs and as she's running um, Kale actually sees what happens because he's out for a ride that night with his horse um, and he sees her running and he invites her to join his circus. He says, you will always have a safe place. No one will force you to do anything you want. You can learn and act if you want to give back, but we'll still take care of you until you find a place you want to be. And so he invites her in and then begins this very slow burn because they have this amazing chemistry, but she is like barely 18 and he's 10 years older than her and the circus is his life. Um, but it's it becomes a very wholesome story because the entire circus loves her and falls for her and her horse because her horse joins the circus too. They learn how to do different tricks together. Um, and when her and Kale start developing a knife act together, they're spending a lot of time, like he's developing a knife throwing act together and they just are really falling for each other. And he is like, I am such a creep. I can't be falling for this girl. She's like, I don't even think she is 18 when the book starts. So there's like nothing between them. That's not, but the whole circus is like, you guys are meant to be together. Like, what's the difference if you get together now, or if you wait two or three years like just do it so I love this it's so wholesome this book is so sweet and again if you like like the greatest showman or you like the found family or you like circuses that are written with like a lot of love it'd be great this also is a UK story Brianna Hale is from the UK um so I thought that was very interesting how like it was told so there you go. Those are some random recommendations that are all smutty, spicy, and steamy, and I hope that you liked this video. If you'd like more specific recommendations, I have an entire playlist that has over 180 different videos with different recommendation tropes in it, so check that out. Thank you so much for watching, friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye.